And hello from a city that stands right on the border with Germany and France. But nevertheless, we are in Switzerland, in Basel. I'm Derek Ray on the commentary gantry and sharing duties with me today, Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Super League coming right up for you. It is Basel facing St Gallen. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And this is the initial 11 for the visitors today. Well, it's a 4-4-2 with a midfield diamond, and key to this shape will be the players either side of that diamond. When in possession, they'll go wider to give the team width. When they're defending, they'll tuck back in. And now they get the ball rolling. Could play it in, but strong defending. Fedor Chalov. Well, so many positives where the hosts are concerned, and one positive, Stuart, is a watertight defence. Well, they've been so solid at the back, whether it's in front of their own fans or away from home, I think it comes down to communication. They're just so well-drilled and organised. Hopefully for the neutrals, they do concede the first one today. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener! today well we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and it makes the striker's job so easy all he has to do is make the right connection it's a lovely goal And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Taulant Jaka. And the emphasis is on creativity. The cross is on. Not showing good defensive judgment. Oh, that's a fine pass. And now, passing it through. Well, what a stop that was. Delightful pass. Palacios. Taulant Jaka. Oh, what an opportunity! And he read it well, intercepting it. The pressure was high, and they could be in here. Well read to put an end to that attack.
Could be troublesome. Plays it back. Oh, that's fine goalkeeping. Real concentration. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. Taken short. Sends it back. Taulant Jaka. Fedor Chalov. Losing possession here. A room to roam on the wing. He has time to play it over. Well, an opportunity that he couldn't take advantage of, Stuart. Well, he did everything right except score. His movement was really good. It deserved a goal, really. Palacios on the ball. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack, and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. Options in the middle. Throw-ins given. That's a nice-looking ball. It comes to absolutely nothing. Counter-attacking, very much an option. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Andy Pelmar. Are pressing really high. And we will have just one additional minute. Fine sequence of passes. And there it is, the half-time whistle is sounded, no doubt about it, the home fans will be the happier of the two, Stuart. Well, we discussed it before the game, they are a brilliant team defensively. Their decision-making about when to press and when to delay the opposition has been spot on. I just can't see them conceding today. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Palacios. Using his strength to shield the ball. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. Oh, he's given it away. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Oh, lovely ball. Jordi Quintilla this looks interesting firing it towards goal well it ended up being easier for the goalkeeper in the end Raul Petretta Kasami Petretta has it Well, oh, they've lost possession of the ball. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, that's one for them to pursue. 
surely! Well, a fantastic counter-attack as they move through the gears, but not a brilliant end product. Well, everything looked good until the finish, but that shows how dangerous they are on the break. Here it is now, a substitution. Intense pressure. He went in so dangerously with that tackle. Now, the referee is the man everyone's looking at. And who knows, that might be the end of the story for them in this one. Well, I'm sure you're right. He's just lost his discipline there. It's an uphill battle now. So, making the substitution now. Kasami. Intelligent threaded pass here. And an effective clearance. 20 minutes remaining. On and on he goes. And let's give credit to the defending. And the pass could do damage. Valentin Stocker on the offensive. Fedor Chalov. Raul Petretta. Well, they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Shot attempted and blocked for now. This might be ideal for the counter. Nicely timed tackle. Well, these fans have been brilliant. Just listen to them. Surely this will inspire the players to hang on here. What a noise we've got. Oh, nice ball. But attacking possibilities. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Can they fashion something? They need a goal. Superb block. On the cusp of the final whistle, and they're making home advantage count, but only just. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game, but if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well, and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. Well, it must be mighty annoying when you can't get near the ball. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Oh, moving it nicely. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Well, once more, their defensive display was so good. They just know exactly what their jobs are, where they should be at any given time, and they react so well to danger. That was almost perfect.